Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to see the two different types of loops in Microsoft Excel and these are known as the do while and the do until loops. So first of all, the question arises is what is the difference between the do while and the do until loops? The do while loop, as the name suggests, is used to execute or keep on iterating while the condition is true. On the other hand, the do until loop does the same thing that is it iterates through the given value until the condition is true. So this is the main difference that is it is used to do while the condition is true and until the condition is true. Okay. But uh, what is the difference is how we write these loops, how the syntax of the loops goes. So this is the main thing that you need to understand. And for this purpose, uh, we are going to use examples. Okay. So uh, first of all, let us look at the example of the do while loop. Now, um, to look at the example, we have something that uh, we have a small task that we need to do. This is sheet six and we have some numbers over here like 50, 67, 54 and all these random numbers is what I have written over here. And in the cells just uh, in front of them, what I need to do is write the value by adding 50 to it, which means if 50 is written, I want 100 to be present over here. If 67 is written, I want to add 50. If 54 is written, I want to add 50 and so on. This is what I want to do. So a simple approach is using a do while loop. Okay. So let's see that how can we work with it? Uh, let us just clear all these piece of code. This was from a previous video in which we learned about the for each loop. So let's write this do while loop. So first of all, for this purpose, what I'm going to do is declare an integer like dim I as integer. Okay. And then I'm going to initialize I as a uh, one okay so um, that is a simple step you all must have understood it then let us begin the do while loop so uh, write do put a space while this is how you write a do while loop and then you need to provide with a condition okay uh, so let us just provide it with a condition the condition is you have to do it while the value of cells at i comma one that is the row index must change it could change but the column index is going to be one that is at the a column and the different row index we have values till eight so it's going to be executing till eight uh, dot value into write dot value and then you have to open and close the angular brackets and then you need to write the double quotes which means that you have to execute while there is some kind of value present in these cells which means up till 8 and whenever there is no value present or the value is null that is in a9 you have to stop the execution so that is the condition you need to give to the do while loop okay and then as in the for loop and the for each next loop, what we do was write the keyword next to make sure that VB understands this as the end of the statement. So over here, what we are going to write is a keyword known as loop do while. And when we write the keyword loop, then VB understands that yes, this is the ending body of the loop. And whatever statements we write in between is going to be the body of the loop, which is going to be executed again and again and again. Okay. So here in this uh, column two, that is in the column B, we want to show something. So first of all, we need to refer to that particular column that is through I comma two. Uh, this is how we are going to refer to that column dot value. What is it's going uh, value going to be its value is going to be nothing but whatever the value of the cells I comma one and we have to increment 50 in it. So let's just write here cells i comma one what is the whatever is the value of the cells in the column a we have to write that same thing but we have to add 50 to it and then we have to show it in the column b 
now what we need to do is increment the value of i by 1 so that it executes like a1 a2 and goes to the next statement okay so i equals i plus 1 and that is it that's how you are going to just work with the loop so let us understand it's working by using this step into function f8 right now the value of i is 1 so what would it do is just write 50 plus 50 that's 100 and then it would increment the value of i then it executes the loop statement which means it goes to the next iteration in the next iteration it again checks for the value the value is present in a2 so it would execute it like this again goes to loop again checks for value again executes the statements again again and again, again it's going to work in this way okay so let's just go to here now after the loop it goes to the first statement and realizes that there is no value present so uh, this is the statement where the execution goes or the control goes and it realizes that there is no statement so it does not execute the statements inside the loop and comes out of the loop that is at the end sub statement and that is it that's how the do while loop works that is it works while the condition is true and um, that's um, actually the main thing that is while the condition was true it was executed okay now this was the working of the do while loop let us look at the working of do until loop as well okay so let's just create a new sheet for this and let's clear up this piece of code or uh, uh, just comment it we can also comment it go to edit comment block this was do while loop and let's now look at an example of do until loop what we have is uh, we have to do something uh, with the value like suppose we just uh, declare a variable like dim a as integer and we need to provide the value of integer a as 1 and we have to execute it uh, execute some piece of statement until the value of a is equals to 5 okay so uh, we have to first write the uh, do until loop do until and then we need to provide the condition so the condition is until the value of a is greater than or equals to 5 okay um actually the value of a is less than equals to 5 until we have to execute this thing okay we have to execute some of the statements now what statement is it going to be uh the statement is we have to actually just show the value of a in the cell so let's just write it cells a comma one uh, is going to be holding nothing but the value of a and we have to end this do until loop with something called as loop as in the do while loop itself the do until loop also stops its execution when it encounters this statement written as loop okay so uh, with this statement what would happen is until the value of a is 5 we would get the values like 1 2 3 4 5 in the columns a1 till a5 but for that purpose we need to increment the value of a as well so let's just uh, do this a equals to a plus 1 as soon as a writes the value then its value must increment so let's just use this step into function okay so uh it didn't execute it at all the reason being we have got this thing the value of a is less than equals to 5 which is the right condition the value of a is 1 but it is uh, and it is less than 5 so it must execute but this is the important thing that you need to know in the do until loop you do not provide the condition for execution you provide the condition for termination that is what happens when um, or at what condition you want to terminate the loop so whenever the value of a is greater than 5 I want to just uh, stop the execution of this uh, loop so let's just provide the termination condition that is a greater than 5 and this this is what is going to execute our do until loop so let's just run it 
and you can see one till five is what we have got and that's exactly what we wanted so this is one most important thing that in the do until loop you do not write the execution condition you write the termination condition so that's all for the loops that you need to know with this we have completely wrapped up our topic of loops we have read about the types of loops what is their usage and what is the different syntaxes where we are going to use the different types of loops and that's all for the video thanks for watching